Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting day. I have taken a trip over the bridge to St. Pete to True Scan um, to have a full body MRI today. So I'm going to be hopping back here in a second to, to jump in and get that done. But I guess we'll start by chatting with Michael, um, who's gonna tell us a little bit about what True Scan is, and maybe even just starting with the basics, like what is an MRI? So let's start there and then we'll learn more about what you guys offer. For sure, well, welcome in and uh, welcome to True Scan. And here we are a proactive health company. So we primarily offer full body MRI scans for the early detection of cancer and disease. We can see most forms of cancer as early as stage one, as well as other things like aneurysms or wow. autoimmune diseases or really hundreds of other silent threats that you know people might not be aware that they have. So. You know, we do that through MRI, which is in contrast to something like a CT scan, MRI does not use any harmful radiation. We don't use any contrast. So it's a very non-invasive study. Yeah, very safe. It's, it's yeah. very safe. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And it only takes 60 minutes. So you get your results within a few days and there's a very lengthy radiology report that goes through all the different major systems of the body from head all the way down to your ankles, mm -hmm. uh, including your entire spine and all the major organs. And we thoroughly assess them for any forms of disease that might be lingering. Yeah, I was looking on their website actually uh, just this morning and I think there are over 500 different conditions um, that you can, I guess, look for with this MRI scan. That's so. right, yeah. And you can actually go on our website and there's a, a page of conditions that you can search if you have particular questions, you know, about what the scan might be able to detect. Yeah. Now I have another question because I know you guys are not only interested in your health and well-being in general, but for my audience, you care a lot about muscle as well. So if you followed me and some of the other educational pieces that I've put out recently, I talk a lot about MRI in the context of being able to measure your muscle volume. So can the results that I get today also look at my total body muscle volume? Is that something we can look at? So that's a great question. Right now we're actually working on internally a propri proprietary body composition study that not only will give you muscle volume analysis, but also fat percentage breakdowns, kind of similar to a DEXA scan, but it'll be a lot more detailed and accurate yeah. than a DEXA scan. So it's something that we're, we're currently working on. We expect to have it rolled out by the end of this year. So we will give you an updated report with that. But <laughs> The good thing about MRI currently that we're, we're doing is we're looking a lot at the, you know, a lot about the musculoskeletal system. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people that might be into weightlifting, you know, let's say for their spine, they might have, mm -hmm. uh, you know, conditions that might be adversely affecting them or giving them pain, you know, spinal degeneration or other mm -hmm. things, or even in the knees, joints, you know, shoulders, hips, all these different areas that might be causing people pain or they might have you know something that might fracture in the future we can, mm -hmm. we can see that so yeah i'm very interested to take a closer look at my hips and potentially some of my joints because i am not getting any younger <laughs> and i found that after many years of lifting i am starting to feel some of that wear and tear so i think based on today's mri they'll be taking a comprehensive look top to bottom uh, and they might be able to pinpoint uh, maybe early stages of osteoporosis process or arthritis and things like that. So uh, at least then if we get in early, we can start, um, I guess, better preparing ourselves to prevent, um, I guess, uh, I guess the, what would the word be? I guess, uh, exacerbate maybe some of these symptoms by treating early. So mm -hmm. yeah, maybe we can go and take a look at the facility yes, and absolutely. get started. We'll show you around. So down this way is just uh, to the changing room. So once you check in, we get you your own private changing rooms. Really the only thing that's required before the study is that you fast for at least four hours uh, and we'll give you some scrubs that look like these. So there's no need to wear anything uh, special for the, the day of your scan <laughs> and uh, it'll be MRI safe. All right, so Michael, my audience is predominantly female and they're aged between 30 and 65. So are there any specific health conditions that MRI can de detect that are particularly relevant to this age group? For sure. Well, <laughs> I think one of the most notable facts about these early age groups is since 1990, there's been a 79% increase in early onset cancers, which is basically cancers that occur in people under the age of 50. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing among our patient population that the average age is really a lot of people in their 30s and 40s mm -hmm. that want to be proactive and catch these early onset cancers, mm -hmm. you know, before they strike. And, you know, yeah. with, with women, you know, the recommendation now is to get mammograms, let's say, starting at age 40. But I think what a lot of people are realizing is it's just not enough 
You know, there's so many other forms of cancer, even besides breast cancer, mm -hmm. that are occurring in people that are in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and you know, 60s. So yep. things like pancreatic cancer, or brain cancer, or gallbladder, or kidney, all of these things that uh, we can see with full body MRI yep. uh, that you can't see in any other, you know, test. So that I think that that's really a big thing. And you know, 86% of diagnosed cancers in the U.S. Are either because of symptoms or by accident. It's not from routine screening testing. Mm -hmm. So that's almost nine in 10 people. Wow. And usually when you have symptoms, it's when it's too late, mm -hmm. right? It's stage three or yeah, stage four. Like so yeah. exactly. So you want to stay ahead of it. You want to detect it at stage one when you only might need surgery, you mm -hmm. know, when treatment is really, really great and, and survival really improves. Yeah. So I'd say that that's the biggest thing mm -hmm. you know but there's also a lot with um you know fibroid tumors or other conditions that you know women might be dealing with mm -hmm. that they might have pain or they might have other symptoms that they don't know what the cause of it might be and mm -hmm. full body MRI can kind of help rule in or rule out some of those things as yeah. well now how frequently do you recommend um, patients come in for retesting so if i've come in today i've had my full body mri like what's the recommended follow-up um, for someone of my age i'm 30, 36. Sure. so uh in the report the radiologist will include a recommended follow-up date but the most common one is 12 to 18 months mm -hmm. so usually what people elect to do is just get it every year so yeah. that way if anything does change we're able to track that you mm -hmm. know, from your baseline scan, which will be today. Yeah. And then a year from now, we'll be able to see if, you know, if there was anything that we saw or if something new came up, mm -hmm. then you're like, okay, well, at least we know, you know, what changed in the last year. And I, I like to say that the hardest scan, you know, for people to kind of um, get through is the first one because, you know, you've gone mm -hmm. this many years without ever having a scan, right? But once you get that first one done, there's so much peace of mind that comes with it because you know that only a year might have elapsed since mm. your last one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so I guess next is let's go get scrubbed up and <laughs> ready to go. Let's do it. Okay. So the difference between a CT and an MRI is inherently in the physics of what drives them. CT scanners, they look really at um, it's really fast slices. So it's useful for imaging things like the coronary arteries that are very small and there's movement involved because uh, it can take these really fast slices. So for like your cardiovascular system, uh, you know, CT might be the preferred modality uh, or imaging, you know, very, very small areas of the body. But when it comes to soft tissue and imaging really the brain or, or many of the major organs, MRI is just preferred because we can see things like solid lesions, which is like cancer, for instance, mm -hmm. much better on MRI. And, you know, when imaging things like the brain, it's incredibly detailed. And we also image, you know, like the carotid arteries of the brain and the carotid arteries of the neck as part of our full body MRI. So we see that well. It's just things like the coronary arteries that are super, super small and there's movement. MRI doesn't do as well as CT. Mm -hmm. And what are the, what's the typical size of like a lesion or a mass that these, um, this machine can actually detect? I think I've read somewhere it was like one centimeter size. Yeah, so with full body MRI, typically, you know, we say one centimeter, but in, in practice, you know, we can usually see a lot smaller than that. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, we've seen lesions that are as small as two or three millimeters, you wow. know, that we'll note on the scan. Mm -hmm. So we, we can get very, very small, you know, and, and a lot of stage one cancers are typically around that one centimeter mm -hmm. mark. Uh, they can be smaller than that, they can be larger than that, but, you know, usually they're around that, that mark. So something that's, you know, two millimeters or three mm -hmm. millimeters might be, you know, pretty, pretty premature. Okay, I think I interrupted you as well. You were about to say something before I asked that question. <laughs> and now I lost your flow. <laughs> uh, in this clinic, I know you guys have only just recently opened, but um, can you give me an example of something that has um, come up in the MRI scan that has certainly helped prevent somebody from being in a very bad situation yeah. down the line? Well, I can give a lot of examples, but I can, I can give you one where one of our first patients, it was within our first week of opening, we we scanned her she was in her 50s mm -hmm. she was asymptomatic she we actually kind of like convinced her to come in we we're like come on you know just yep. come in and, and get a scan and um you know so she she said okay sure and we actually found a unruptured brain aneurysm on her that was nine millimeters large wow and our, our radiologist dr call he called me he's like hey you know we we have something concerning here so we actually worked with dr vicaria who's a, a neurosurgeon in tampa that we have mm -hmm. a relationship i was telling you about yeah, yeah how we help people get into specialists you know based yeah. on findings that we find mm -hmm. so we we managed to get her in very quickly you know he did an assessment he coiled it uh, he treated it and he even told me he said if we had not discovered this on full body mri 
there is no routine screening for aneurysms. You know, okay. typically they come to me after it's too late mm. or that we accidentally catch something. Yep. And he says, it's amazing that we can now proactively find these things in people yep. that eventually would probably lead to either death or, you know, life altering mobility issues. So wow. we saved your life. Wow. There you go, guys. Yeah. This is the kind of service that you want to do <laughs> to prevent things like that from happening. So. Yeah. And not every scan, you know, I, I don't want to pin it out like every scan, you know, yeah, obviously it ends up in a life altering finding. A lot of people come to us uh, and they get peace of mind. You know, they, they realize they don't have something mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, their, their report looks pretty good. So, mm -hmm. you know, but there's even just informational things that you can learn about. Like mm -hmm. we give you a hepatic fat fraction score, which looks at, uh, you know, fatty liver disease. You know, mm -hmm. do you have that? Which is actually kind of like a silent epidemic now in the mm. US uh, that, you know, is gaining some some notoriety. But, you know, there's there's a lot of findings that, that people have uh, discovered that, that helps them kind of live a healthier life. Yeah. Too. So guys, I think this would be something that you could come and do um, on top of like your routine blood work. So obviously the practice that we have, so we're always recommending um, getting your blood work done, a comprehensive metabolic panel uh, amongst other things. Um, but this would be a nice supportive um, to kind of add to that, to really create a better picture in a landscape of your current state of health. Then I guess from there, with those those results, uh, as a dietitian, we can kind of step in and help with your nutritional intervention. If there's anything that we can do to support you there, and then it sounds like the team here at TrueScan can provide uh, outward referrals. Obviously, this is located specifically in Florida. Is that correct? Yes. So yeah. we t primarily work within the local area here in Tampa Bay. But if there are special requests, I mean, we, we're always our our clinical team is very good, and and mm -hmm. we're very obsessed with making sure that people have a really good experience. So yeah. we'll, we'll go that extra mile for people. Awesome. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. But definitely I would say that it, it is 100% complementary to lab testing mm -hmm. and also to, you know, any routine screening that you're currently doing. So if you're going for, you know, mammography or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, men should still check their PSA levels, you know, yeah. so this is complementary to those things. You know, it really adds an additional layer of security and, yeah. and information you know, yep. on top of that. Yeah, absolutely. We can now pick your entertainment system. Oh. So we have Netflix, you can watch YouTube, you can watch YouTube TV and all kinds of other live channels when you get your scan done. Nice. So do you know what you might want to watch? Oh my goodness. You can also take a breeze through. Let me have a look here, because <laughs> I'm good at TV. <laughs> 50 first states, why not? Yeah, it's a great. That's a good classic. That's a You'll be in here for about 60 minutes mm -hmm. and we'll get, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no metal, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, so Jacqueline will take good care of you, and okay. she'll speak with you throughout the entire exam as well. So she'll be with you through a two-way intercom. You can talk to her at any time. She'll okay. talk to you, and she'll get you started. Awesome. All right. Well, that was the best sixty-minute. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> 60 minute rest that I've had in a long while. <laughs> um, all right, so I am looking here at, uh, I guess, all things. Do you want to go so, through this? Definitely, yeah. This, so these, this is you. Yeah. <laughs> this is your entire full body. So these are a couple different sequences. Uh, th these two here are a T1 and T2 sequence of your entire body. So you can see the brain working all the way through the chest, the abdomen, the pelvis, the legs, even the ankles. Mm -hmm. And so this is what our radiologists look at when they're analyzing. And they'll also look at your medical intake, yep. see if there's any you know particular concerns or anything. But uh, this is essentially what they look at. And um, here on the right, this is our, it's called a sagittal spine. So mm -hmm. we're looking at the entire spine all the way from the cervical all the way down. And we can see another aspect of the brain right. here as well. So. I mean, as you can see, you can see mm -hmm. basically all of your organs, you can mm -hmm. see all of your musculoskeletal yeah. system. Um, there's some sequences too, where you can look at the arteries of the brain. These are actually the arteries in your brain. Oh, wow. uh, so this is something that a radiologist uses to assess for any, like if there's any plaque or if there's any bulging, which might indicate, you know, aneurysm or mm -hmm. really a lot of other uh, conditions. Um, so yeah, and then you know this is an example of a brain sequence as well. So mm -hmm. it kind of goes through from the bottom of the head all the way you know to the top. Yep. Uh, so you can see things like brain atrophy or if there's any demyelination, yep. uh, any white matter lesions that might indicate you know some certain pathology. So yeah, this this is really how we screen though the entire body. And if you go to you know, just a normal imaging center, they're really not able to give you this kind of clarity. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're really developed like a specialized 
protocol to be able to do full body imaging in yeah. the 60 minutes and make it diagnostically accurate. Okay, and are we going to sit down with the radio uh, radiologist today? Radio uh, so the radiologist will review these images and you'll get your report within a few days, typically within 48 hours. Yep. And then a physician on our medical team, you'll mm -hmm. be able to schedule a call with them once your results are ready. Yeah. So either Dr. Lazara or Dr. Summers, and mm -hmm. they will go through all of your results. It's like a 15 page radiology report oh, wow. that they go through. So, and it, and it breaks it down literally from head all the way down, you know, throughout the body mm -hmm. uh, and categorizes all of those findings for you. So they'll explain everything in detail. Yep. And if there's any follow-up that you need, they're you know yeah. happy to be a resource for you. Awesome. We also mail you a CD, so you have all your scan images, but mm -hmm. everything can be accessed digitally too. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. oh, very cool. Um, if you go back to the previous view, Oh, you gotta look at your lordosis. It's crazy. Oh, I know. I, I was yeah, you want to notice that in my spine. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, look, yeah, at, look that. at that. <laughs> it's like an S. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So that is something that has been like problematic for me for a long time, but it's just crazy to see it just like this. Have you have you had any spine imaging before? Or? I have had a full body MRI about oh, 10 right. years okay. ago. Yeah, Imagine, but yeah. Um, it's just again shocking for me to see that sure yeah. <laughs> so yeah i guess we'll sit down next time we'll i'll get a call from one of the physicians to kind of review this That's right yeah okay so, so exciting yeah. well guys when i get those results we'll definitely sit down uh, and film that conversation and go through things and um i guess i'll get more information for you about this particular facility but if individuals want to come in and have this procedure done, how can they get in touch with you? Well, it's very simple. You can just go on our website. It's truescanmri.com and you can just click book a scan and you, it's very easy. It takes about 30 seconds and you don't need a referral. And there's a lot of information on our website. There's a lot of great blogs. There's mm -hmm. the, the conditions list and kind of all, all that information there that a lot of FAQs too, if you have particular questions. So you can do that, or you can just give us a call as mm -hmm. well. So one of, one of us will be happy to answer any questions that you have. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having of me course. in today. Yeah. Um, I'm very eager to get my results as well, but guys go and check out their website. I'll put all of the information up in the description on the screen as well. So it's super easy to find. And I guess, We'll speak with you guys soon. Good. Good. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, guys, I am now sitting down in front of my computer. It has been a couple of weeks and I have my results back uh, from my scans. And as you can see on the screen recording that I have in front of me, um, there are several ways that you can have all of your results reviewed with you, which I find extremely helpful. So you can see one of the options is to actually schedule a video consultation with the physician to walk you through everything, which I wish that I had have done. I have been so incredibly busy leading up to my competitions uh, that I did not have an opportunity to do this, but I did have an opportunity to read through my results. So one of the other options is to literally click and view your results. So, so happy. I had no indications of any, I guess, malignancies or any medical conditions that I need to be concerned about. It was basically a perfect bill of health. So I'm very relieved with those results. I know my partner was like, I don't want to know. This is terrifying. He did not want to know what his were. So he chickened out of even getting the scan, but I'm obviously all about preventative health uh, and really wanted to get in uh, and see if there was anything that I needed to be concerned about because so many of these chronic disease are unfortunately lifestyle and diet related. So happy with everything uh, from the results. But I wanted to say if you are somebody that's looking to get in for a preventative health checkup, obviously you can see just how comprehensive this was. So I'm going to make sure that all of the details are available for you in the description. If you'd like to make an appointment, please reach out to TrueScan. Uh, their team are so well qualified. It was such a wonderful experience. Uh, and of course, uh, hopefully we get some really good results from this as well. So thank you so much for joining in and listening and I hope to see you in my next video.